Concealed carry is getting a lot more popular these days. Many people quickly discover that when they put a gun in their pocket or on their hip, their pants start falling down. Now, if they have their regular belt on, their pants still fall down or buckle due to the weight. Now, what is needed is a properly, specifically designed belt to handy, handle the weight and the tension of carrying a firearm. Now, there's a tons of options out there with a huge range in costs. Where do we start? I got a hold of a couple from Core. Check it out. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion. So to be honest, one of the main reasons I don't like to carry is everything that I just mentioned. You know, I like my pants loose. Most of the time I don't wear a belt and it's always pulling my pants down. Now I'm no expert in carrying a sidearm or in concealed carry, being completely honest. I, I do, however, know quality and function when I see it. With that said, my initial impression of the core belt is good. Now before we get ahead of ourselves, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech for this belt. Okay, so any good holster system requires a decent belt. I've got a core essentials here. This is I'm just going to show you out of the box. We've got the G1 buckle black tactical garrison belt and we've got the G2 buckle black leather garrison belt. Got a belt hanger there. So it's gonna come fully adjustable for the length and everything. This is solid, it feels good. And then here's the buckles. And we'll just get this all put together. Okay, so here's the two different belt buckles. This is the G2, kind of a dress belt looking, really nice. It's heavy. It's solid. I'm really impressed. I can't wait to get this together. That's the release. And then here's the tactical one. It's kind of a duller finish, powder coated. Same thing. It's a solid belt. Let's get it put together. It's the 1.75 tactical garrison. It's quality material. It is a stiff belt. And on the inside, we have kind of a, a rubberized polymer. And this is going to be the latching system. I like this. You know, none of the holes. Um, be anxious to see how well this holds. And then if we need to, we can cut and adjust for length. And here's the leather garrison belt. Looks very much like a dress belt. Okay. Everything else is the same. Solid, heavy, nice, can cut for length. Okay, so both belts come with the measuring on the inside. So you take your waist size, your pant size. So let's say I'm 36 and I add four inches. So I would cut at 40. If I'm gonna do in the waist band conceal carry, then I add six inches. The thing is, is you can always cut off, but you can't put back on. So start maximum and then work your way down. The buckle itself, it's got these screws. This is for the gun belt. We'll take those out. You can see in here and we'll put those back in, thread the end in here with the buckle and then the end when we got it cut to the right length. We're going to move that. This will slide in. We'll have to loosen these screws, slide it all the way in, and then we crank these screws down and we'll turn this back over and push it all the way down. It does come with an Allen wrench and some spare screws. Now the buckle itself, I really like this. It's got these here. This just slides in. lot better than the whole system. 
looks nice. Then to release, all you do is you push that up and the belt slides off. And that is a solid, solid hold. So I can be anywhere from a 34 to a 36, depending on where I'm at with my eating and exercise habits. Because I wanna have the option of doing in the waist conceal, I'm gonna add six. So if I did 34, I'm gonna start, yeah, I'm just gonna be on the safe side. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut at 42 or 41 on the leather. Try that. If it's still a little bit big, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut just one inch at a time until I get it the perfect size. Remember guys, you can always take off an inch, but you can't add back on. Real quick, when you're cutting this, the directions say you need to use a sharp pair of scissors. I don't think you're gonna be able to use just kind of regular scissors. You need to get some of the heavy duty utility scissors. Like I always say, looks great on paper, but how does it function in real life? Okay, so when I was looking at things, I sit in my office, you know, trying to think of how do I test a belt? I was also thinking I really need to work out today, which gave me an idea. Check this out. Okay, so that was my Glock 17, fully loaded. You decide what you think. It worked for me. Now I'm working on a review for Springfield Armory and Alien Gear that's going to come out soon on the Armory Life. Check that out. It will cover one of, if not the best holster systems that I have found on the market. Every which way you can carry the Hellcat. It's awesome. I've got about uh, 8 to 12 different types of holsters. You're going to want to check that out. Alien Gear rocks. But one of my points in that review is before you consider your holster, you need to have a solid foundation first, a good belt. One more test that I thought of. Let's see how strong this belt is. Check this out. Okay, we're gonna see how much this can hold. This is my gear hanger. If I can get this thing on here. See if I can hoist myself up with it. It's not the most comfortable, but I would say that it's holding. And that's good because I don't want to fall. <sighs> hey guys, if you like this review, if you follow my channel and you want to keep the reviews coming, YouTube is pretty much demonetizing almost everything related to firearms. What supports Beyond Seclusion is using my links to shop. Shop is if you always do it, costs you absolutely nothing. You go to Amazon, you go to PSA, primary arms, any of these, if you simply go in through my links and get what you are normally going to get, that supports Beyond Seclusion. I got a link down here that shows you how to do that quick and easy. Guys, I couldn't do it without your support. Thank you. There you have it. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, support the channel and be sure and hit that sub button, like and comment. Until next time, guys, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.